Tascam DR44. This is my first audio recorder. I decided to get this one because it has XLR inputs. This recorder and the DR40 do not have a 3.5 millimeter input. The Zoom handheld recorders like the H4N and the H5 and the H6, they do have a 3.5 millimeter input, but it's only one. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're gonna to wanna to record two separate mics, then this video will help you out. Here's a problem you have. You still have all your cheap microphones that have a 3.5 millimeter connector. So that was my first problem. How do I get my microphones to connect to these inputs? Seems like a simple solution. Just go and look for the right adapter. So yeah, you know, I just bought um, a few of those adapters. I connected the mic to the adapter. I connected the adapter to the recorder. Didn't work. No signal, a lot of noise. I couldn't find anybody that had a definitive solution. Some people were suggesting a 3.5 to XLR adapter. Some suggested there was a, um, a uh, direct box that, I can, uh, that you can purchase to convert the balance to unbalanced, which I bought a pretty cheap one. It didn't work. My search was not fruitless. During my search, I noticed that these adapters are not all the same. Some of them were stereo to stereo, mono to stereo, mono to mono. I think the ones I, I bought were stereo to stereo. Doing further research on my recorder, these inputs are mono inputs. So that was my first mistake. You know, I'm using stereo connectors. The next step would be to figure out which, um, which type of connector my microphones were, which um, basically I just bought two of each. I bought two stereo to mono and I bought two mono to mono adapters. So. I tried out my solution and it worked like a charm. You know, perfect signal. I found out three of my mics were stereo mics and then um, my shotgun microphone needed the mono connector. To summarize the solution, if you want to connect a 3.5 millimeter microphone to one of these inputs, remember to use mono plugs. They usually have one ring around the end instead of two. Then the female end will match whatever microphone it is you're trying to connect to the device. And that's it. I hope this helped you out. Production Mooch, out.